Hi, my name is Tessa Lonia Talo. I am 16 years of age and I go to Mount Albert Grammar School from Auckland, New Zealand. I've been playing basketball for four years. The uh, main reason why I played basketball was because my dad's family grew up playing basketball. Um, also, in New Zealand, our main sport here is netball and I didn't want to be like everyone else, so I wanted to try out basketball. I got chosen to play for Mount Albert Grammar School Premier Team, so that was the best team in high school that you could, that you could play for. And from then I started to develop more skills and more confidence in the game and um, gained a more passion for basketball and the passion for netball started slowly fading away. Netball and basketball had fees alongside it and so I had to choose one which um, made it easy not just for me but for my parents and my family because I couldn't, I couldn't drive at the time so I couldn't take myself to both trainings. So I heavily relied on my parents and um, at that point I knew that I had to choose and so I chose basketball because it gave me, I, when I looked at it, it was a sport that could take me to different places. Netball can only take you so far. <laughs> but. Um, Basketball looked like it could take you to different places in the world, at which it has for me. And um, yeah, it was a good choice. I was happy. The furthest I've been is Bangalore in India, and that was for our FIBA Asia Cup to qualify to go to Worlds. So. Um, that's one place in the world that I've been. I uh, went and played in Samoa for um, a tournament over there. Australia, I did a few camps over there in Melbourne, Australia, Impact Camp. Uh, I was the only girl there. It was very hard because boys are a lot faster and have a better IQ. <laughs> um, I've been to Singapore, um, Fiji, those are just a few um, places that I've been through basketball and met so many cool people and got to play different styles of ball and um, exposed to just people and coaches and players and it's been a great experience so far. Getting picked for the New Zealand team was a shock to the system. Um, I always, uh, there were camps um, before the team was selected and each camp that I made it to, I sort of it built my confidence and then when I got selected for the team I was grateful, um, beyond words, couldn't believe that I was playing in the best team for my age group. Um, I was very happy with myself and um, grateful for my family for supporting me and for pushing me so far. I was in my my room when I got the call. I had just come back from a run and when coach called and told me that um, I had made the team, I I froze. I, she was like, are you still there? And I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> um, I, yeah, there's so many emotions going through my mind. I ran outside of my room and I screamed, I made the team! It was, it was only Nana home at the time, but my Nana was when I started crying and it was a proud moment. Yeah, I loved it. Carrying on my basketball career in America would show me, um, would expose me to different um, situations and challenges and um, different opportunities and open doors and I think going to America would really help me um, become a better person and see different ideas and issues and situations and opportunities that I can see for myself rather than through a screen. Mm. I'm the football star in the family, also the blackest one, yeah.
Yeah. She's the bent one, the bent one.